Setting your bidding strategies at the right time with the right target is critical for success with Google Ads. Because if you set your target ROAS or your target CPA too early, you can completely ruin the performance of your account. Even if Google is giving you a recommendation to add that in for the first 30 days, I would not be doing it. The other thing that you need to be careful of is if you set your target ROAS too high or your target CPA too low, you can stop all spend, which drives down the total number of conversions and revenue that your business is seeing. Or on the other hand, if you set your target ROAS too low and or your target CPA too high, you can be leaving money on the table and not getting the best conversion metrics that you can get. And you're effectively giving Google more money. And trust me, Google does not need any more of your precious advertising budget. So in this very last lesson of Get Google Ready for 2024, I wanna take you through the dark arts of getting your bidding strategy right in Google Ads. As you know, my name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy, and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And, and in my experience of running Google Ads since 2010, I can let you know that getting these bidding strategies right is probably the final frontier and the last skill that you have to master for true success with Google Ads. So what I wanna do is before we jump into a screen share where I take you through some examples of what can happen when you get your bidding strategy set right with Google Ads, I wanna take you through four core principles. And if you can understand these four core principles that I've put together throughout my experience in managing Google Ads, you'll be well placed to get your bidding targets set at the right time and at the right target more often than not. So the first thing you need to understand with your bidding strategies is that you need to delay the decision. Now, unfortunately, Google will be giving you constant recommendations to set a target ROAS or a target CPA. And sometimes this is on a campaign that is only 30 days old. As a rule, I do not set a target ROAS or a target CPA for at least the first three months or 90 days of a campaign. And a lot of the times I'm waiting six to nine months. So don't feel like you have to do it delay the decision for as long as possible. And the reason for why you wanna delay that decision is because once you set that target ROAS or that target CPA, you are putting a stake or a marker in the ground saying to Google, these are the type of results that I'm happy with. Can you get more results like this? So the first thing is to delay the decision. The second thing is, is that when you make the important decision of setting up a target ROAS or target CPA, you need to pick and stick. And what I mean by that is that once you have set a target ROAS or a target CPA, don't go and change that for at least 30 days, even if after the first two weeks, your results completely tank. Because it is not unusual at all that when you add in a target ROAS or a target CPA, that for the next two weeks, you can see your performance drop dramatically. But I've seen it time and time again where for the two weeks after setting that target ROAS or target CPA, conversion metrics just fall off a cliff and then they come back even stronger than what they were before. So it is really, really important that once you set that target ROAS or target CPA, don't change it. Keep it there for 30 days. If performance is still dropped, then you need to go back and reset it back to a maximized conversion or a maximized conversion value. So now that you've got those first two factors in play of delaying the decision, waiting at least three months, once you've made that decision, stick with it, don't change it. I've seen some horror cases of people changing their bidding strategy every day for 30 days. Absolute worst thing you can do. And now, now we get into some more technical details. The third core understanding that you have to have for setting your target bidding strategies in the right way is that I wait for what I call a stabilization of results. And what I wanna see is I wanna see a three to four week period where my conversion metrics are staying the same without a variance of more than 20% either way. So what I mean by that is that if you're gonna be using a target ROAS and one week you see a ROAS of 800%, the next week you see a ROAS of 300%, then it skyrockets up to 900%, and then it goes down to about 400%. Your account is nowhere near ready for a bidding strategy. You wanna be introducing a target ROAS or a target CPA when you're seeing very, very stable results. So if you're seeing that one week you have a ROAS of 520%, the next week you have a ROAS of maybe 495, then you have a ROAS of 505, and then you have another ROAS of 515. That's quite a stable level of results. And that would be an account, which if it was more than after 90 days, if I was seeing that, I would then go through and add in a target ROAS. 
The reason for why you don't want to be adding it before you see that stabilization of results is because we just don't know where it's gonna end up. Because there have been times, and I'm gonna show you in my account, where from month three to month four, I've gone from 40 conversions up to 110 conversions. If I had to set that target rise when I was getting 40 conversions, I would have lost all the ability to get those 110 conversions. But because we waited longer, we then set the target CPA, in that case, when we were getting a high level of conversions. So once again, what you wanna do, delay the decision, once you set it, pick and stick, and then wait for that stabilization of results. And then the last thing, and this is a little bit more of a warning and just a general rule, set your target ROAS or your target CPA based off the current results in your account, not what you want to achieve. What I mean by that is that if you wanna achieve a ROAS of 800%, but your current performance is 350%, you can't just set a budget of 800%. You have to slowly build up to that 800%. Or if you wanna be seeing a cost per conversion of $20 and you're currently at $70, you can't just set a target CPA of $20. You need to basically slowly work that target CPA goal down. Think of it like this, in that you're either climbing a ladder, you're climbing a ladder up to increase the rise, or you're climbing a ladder down to decrease the cost per conversion. And each step of that ladder, you don't wanna be increasing the target ROAS or decreasing the target CPA by more than 20%. So that's the way that you climb up and all climb down to get those better results. So with those four principles now understood, I want let's jump into a screen share so I can show you an example of what can happen when you set your bidding strategies correctly. The example I'm using is on a Performance Max account. And you can see that we started this one in February and I'm giving you all the results up until the end of October. So what I wanna show you here is you can firstly see the cost and I'm putting this in a, in a monthly view so it's easy to see. So you can see that's our monthly cost. So you can see month one, we had a cost of two, you know, let's say 2,400, then another 2,000 and then 2,800 and then 3,000. We didn't start scaling this up until August. I wanna show you what happened here interesting with the conversions. So the the conversions, the first month, we only had one conversion. Second month, we got 21, then 40, and then it skyrocketed from 40 conversions up to 106. But what I wanna show you in here, now we were getting recommendations from Google to add in a target CPA in about April, but we held that decision off until June. And what I wanna show you in here, let's go down to weekly so I can just give you some extra data on this. So we, we added in a target CPA right at the end of May. So I said June, but it was right at the end of May. What I wanna show you in through here is that you can see with the conversions, we already had a really good bank of conversions. And look at this last three weeks. This is what I wanted, wanted to show you where we went one, two, three, four. We had a real stabilization of those results. So you can see here, that's what I was talking about. And then when we add in the cost per conversion, so see here at the start, how it was going up and down. And then we had that stabilization of results. We added in the target CPA, and then you can actually see what happened is that then we got that extra bump up of conversions. And then what we've been able to do is we've been able to slowly continue to lower down this target CPA to where it is now at $28. We started our target CPA at $81, and then we've been able to bring it down. And as you can see, if we move over to the month, last month, our cost per conversion, it, we've even now got it down to $16. So we're probably at that level where we can even reduce our target CPA even lower. But the main thing that I wanted you to see there is that firstly, we really held off on adding that in. We started the campaign in February. We didn't add in a target CPA until the last week of May. So February, March, April, May. So it was nearly four months. It was a week off four months before we added it. And then the other thing that we did is similar to the process that we said, we waited until we saw that stabilization of results. In here, it was still too volatile. And once we've added, and because we did all of that in the right way, and also didn't, and you can even see here as well, we added a target CPA that was higher than what our account was seeing. And then we were able to really drive down that target CPA and get those extra conversions. And as you can see from here, when we go to monthly, you can see that every single month we've been getting more and more conversions. And that's what can happen when you use bidding strategies in the right way, is it can be the catalyst to really increase the performance of your Google Ads campaign. But remember, you need to do it in the right way. Remember those four key principles. Delay the decision. Once you've added in a target rowers, pick and stick, even if it means that your results go down for a couple of weeks. Also too, when you're setting it, wait for that stabilization of results. Don't add it when your conversions are going up and down too much each week. Wait until you see a nice steady flow of conversion metrics for a period of three to four weeks. And then finally, set your target ROAS or your target CPA off the current results, 
not what you eventually want the performance to be. Remembering that from May through to where we are now at the end of October, we were able to adjust our target CPA from initially starting at $85 all the way down to now where it's sitting at $25. And we're probably gonna reduce that even lower to somewhere to about an $18 or $17 or $18 based off the current results. Now, because I know that bidding strategies is a really, really technical training, because you stayed this long, I wanna give you access to an extended bidding strategy session that I gave in my private paid community, which is called 10X Google Ads. And if you wanna get free access to that training, and you'll also get a special discount if you wanna join my pay community in 2024. And I may be biased, but I believe it's the best pay community and it's the best investment that you can do for Google Ads in 2024. If you wanna get free access to that training, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Hey, it's been my absolute pleasure taking you through every single video in my Get Google Ready for 2024 series. And if you go through and watch all these videos, you'll be well equipped to make sure that 2024 is your best year that you see with Google Ads. And if you've missed any of these videos and you wanna go through and watch the full playlist, just go through and watch this playlist right here. Once again, thanks for joining me. See you soon.